Can I please now um, invite, I'm blushing, uh, Ashwarya Rai Bachchan on stage, please. Hare, what do I do? Okay, um, Randeep Hudda, um, Richa Chadda, Darshan Kumar, can we please come on stage as well? See, good content can reach the audiences only through um, good producers. If they are backing it, that's when good content can come to us. And can we please have the producers on stage? Um, Bhushan Kumar, Jackie Bagnani, Deepshika Deshmukh, Sandeep Singh, and Krishan Kumar on stage. And may I also call upon the co-producers of the film, um, Ajay Kapoor, Priya Gupta, Vanita Oman Kumar, Rajesh Singh, and the DOP, Kiran Diohans on stage, please. Can we have the photo op begin now? Thank you. But uh, I think before we even start conducting uh, today's proceedings, I'm sorry it occurred to me. It wasn't premeditated. Um, it's something we as a team genuinely, um, emotionally feel, believe. And uh, I think before we start, let's just, um, as a mark of respect, give a, maintain a minute of silence for Sarabjit himself. Because uh, three years ago, I think we were all so busy in our lives. It probably was something we as Indians read in the papers, but continued with our lives as was. So let's maintain a minute of silence for him, for Kirpal Singh Ji this week, whose sad demise has been reported, and for a cast member of our movie who essays the role of Darji, who passed away. Ram, Ram Murthy Sharma. Ram Murthy Sharma. Uh, he played the role of our father, and he passed away a couple of weeks ago. So please join us in paying our respects. Thank you. Please Thank continue. You. Thank you. <coughs> so, Omang sir, um, Mary Kom, and now there's Sarabjit. Both of them, biopics, were they specifically designed like that? or? No, I mean, I've said this before also. It's not specifically designed that if one biopic runs, I'm supposed to make another one. It just so happened that Sandeep came with the idea to me that this is a fantastic subject, please have a look. Once I saw it online, I was so mesmerized by Dalbir Kaur and the story that I said, okay, I have to do this film. And it hit me somewhere, I said, my God, this is a hard-hitting story and a life that people know of, but they don't know the depth of it. And that's why I thought we should make this film. Um, Ashwarya Rai Bachchan, um, the hardest part of playing Sarabjit because entirely the, in the movie, it's emotional, it's draining. Um, it, was, it must have been really difficult for you to, to essay the character, but I would like to ask you how difficult, how challenging was the role of Sarabjit Kaur? I'm oh, sorry, Talbir Kaur. Um, to begin with, um, when Umang came to me with the subject, um, it was an immediate yes. He's already shared that with you. Uh, because when you hear the story, I mean, I'm sure you all already got the the feeling, the vibe of it when you saw the the trailer right now. Um, how can we walk away from being a part of telling the story and sharing it with everybody, especially the human story? Um, we are all uh, familiar with the reportage, and thank you all for doing what you do day in and day out. But nevertheless, there are a lot of, uh, as I started out saying today, that we all still individually as Indians continue with our lives. We do get affected, we do get disturbed, but we don't necessarily uh, can possibly experience or take the minute out to experience what, how and just an incident can completely change the dynamic of uh, a family, it can change the lives of a family. And um, it was, important to be part of that narrative and to share it with us Indians. Um, Sarabjit's life uh, cannot go, um, his story cannot go unknown. And Talbir fought um, for over 23 years uh, relentlessly. I mean, this kind of sibling love and commitment, uh, the lady's uh, capacity to um, be Sarabjit for his family, to be Sarabjit's Dilbir uh, Panji for, uh, for him, to be Darji's um, uh, spirit and um, strength, 
to be able to keep the fight on going uh, is just uh, a commendable, unbelievable spirit. And there, I think, adjectives fall short to describe that spirit which exists in so many households of our country and worldwide. So this story needed to be told. And thank you, Monk, for bringing it to me. Thank you, Utkarshini, for writing the way that you have. And thanks to the whole team for um, us bringing it to life. Thank you so much. Um, Randeep Hutta, you're a, you're a fantastic actor. I mean, what, what more can I say? Uh, it's very difficult to actually, and as actors, you know, you guys do different sort of characters. Weight loss, kar liya, weight gain. Kar liya. I mean, personally, I want to know, how do you lose so much weight and then you do the other things that you do and, um, and with such finesse and uh, honesty? Uh, how did you do it? It was easy. I do it every day. Sure. sure. Yeah. <laughs> The hard part of a character, of course, weight loss and all that is uh, something we had decided and uh, it took a lot of bill power to achieve that. But the hardest part of the character was the fact that a lot is known and documented about Dalbir Kaur. Not much is known about him and his prison life. So that, to keep it true and to keep it uh, <coughs> within the script and keep it as uh, honest as possible and to go through the suffering he did for 23 years where out of 18 out of that 18 years he was locked up in chains and um, was in a Kal Kotri so imagining all that was the harder part um, and uh, you know with uh, Umang and as a co-conspirator it was very easy and uh, I feel that everybody in the cast has done a fantastic job and um, I'm very uh, proud to be a part of this movie Thank you. Thank you so much, Randi. Um, honey, you've always uh, been known to make entertainers. Sarabjit is a very serious biopic film. Um, is Pooja Entertainment trying to move in a new direction? Uh, well, we're always making uh, wholesome family entertainers, and we were waiting to carve a niche for our company. And uh, this is such meanif meaningful cinema, and we wanted that space. So when Omang bought the script to us, and when we went through it, we literally had tears in our eyes. And that's the reason we, I'm, the trailer has left me shocked on the big screen. You know, I'm still, I am out of words, but that's the reason we all decided to go with this film. Right. Um, Bhushan ji, what the, uh, what? Like the music that you make, the films now with Airlift 2016 and now Sarabjit, what, 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 <laughs> what have you been eating and doing? <laughs> The thing is, people used to know us with musicals, but after Baby, we changed our per per perception by making Baby and then uh, going on to Airlift, which audience and everybody liked a lot. So, and this Sarabjit is again a very real and true story, and I'm sure everybody will love it and give that kind of uh, respect and love to this film. And we are very proud to work with the entire team of Sarabjit, uh, especially the national award-winning director, Mr. Umang Kumar, who has given a Maricom and this is this I've seen some visuals of the film and I I can't explain. You have to see to believe it. Thank you. It's pretty hard hitting. We've seen the trailer and we absolutely believe it. We can't wait uh, for the film to release. But um Richa Chadda, uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> took you by surprise. Um you are taking us by surprise with every role that you portray. Um with this with this film, uh, what were your challenges and what was so interesting about the character? For me, um, I read the script, it took me about two days, and I understood the weight of my character. Of course, it's supporting these two primary characters. But um, my deep down belief is that, uh, you know, I feel like politicians have kind of failed to create peace. So it's only up to artists and musicians and writers. and. Honestly, it sounds very like <laughs> whatever, preachy, but that's really my core belief that it's only via films like these that we can possibly reach out and create some kind of... Um, this, this film is about the human side of... the human casualty of conflict, the, whether it's India-Pakistan or terrorism or whatever, but it's, it's, um, it's the lives behind the statistics. And that's what really interested me. And of course, the director, 
the writer who I knew and the incredible cast. I've worked with Randeep before and I'm sweating because I'm intimidated by him always. <laughs> but it's... <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm really proud to be a part of this film. Very well said. Thank you so much, Richa. Uh, coming on to Darshan Kumar, uh, you're looking really hot. Sorry, I had to, I had to crack this line. But can I please ask you about your role, about the challenging parts of it? It's an emotional film. It's a serious film. Um, yes, over to you, sir. Uh, I would like to say thanks to Umang sir and Sandeep sir, Vanita ji, for giving me this chance to work in this film. Such a beautiful story. I just love the story. Uh, and I, I got a chance to work with vers versatile actors like Ash, Randeep, Racha. It was such an amazing uh, journey, I would like to say. And uh, I'm playing Awaiz Sheikh, a Pakistani lawyer. For uh, I think he's a fighter. A common man did an extraordinary thing for humanity. So when uh, I read the role, I felt like, wow, this I have, uh, I have to do it. And uh, it was such a nice journey. And I just love the film. Thank you so much, Darshan Kumar. Thank you. So now, um, the media, if you've got any questions, please. They're all yours. Hi, Ashwarya, ma'am. This is Urvi here from Pinkula. Hello. Hi. Uh, ma'am, this role is emotionally demanding and draining. What was the kind of preparation that you went through when you had to do this role? Actually, this is possibly one of the fastest films we've ever made in our careers. I think that holds true for most of us here. Um, so credit goes to the potential of the subject itself. Um, the director helming it. That's why I keep saying, actually, I'm going to name each member of the team. The producers who have come on board and in helped us infuse it with the life that we wanted to. Vanita for creating the ambience where we just naturally felt we are part of this narrative. We are the characters that we are. Shah, uh, Shahid Amir for uh, keeping with uh, Umang and all our vision for the way we want to essay the characters and not making it about, chalo hum aise film bana rahe hain. It's not about that, it's about, about being sensitive to the palette. And I think having Umang and Vanita and someone as experienced as Kiran G, I'll say, just for the experience, but he's called KD by the team, okay? So he has literally brought our world to life and whatever we all might strive to do an essay, if he is not out there capturing it, uh, we are all done in four. So genuinely, a huge round of applause. I always have the highest respect for the DOP there on set because we all can do what we want. You can say action, cut a million times. We can all do a hundred takes and retakes. But every little nuance, if not captured, the way we want essayed by him and his team, gaye kaam se. So <laughs> it's, it's really a huge thank you to him and his team, all the assistants who strive day in and day out, uh, relentlessly. When we do such a fast project, believe you me, uh, it's, it's 48 hours and 24 each day, and that's the way we've worked. Um, so I think that'll give you an insight into the preparation. Dive into the deep end and swim. That's what we all have done, but the power remains in what we had to begin with, and that's why we always say script. Hence, Utkarshini definitely deserved to be up here on stage. You know, when, when the writing has it all, and as a team, we work together on set, genuinely, um, as artists. Um, we, we all can come together and bring to life every day. This is one of those movies where the oddest answer I think anybody can give here saying is, it was a pleasure doing this role. <laughs> because that's something you cannot say. It's too intense, too disturbing on a daily basis. But as artists, I'm sure we all feel uh, grateful to have got an opportunity to essay these characters and tell their story to you all, the audience. Hi, Omang. Uh, this is RJ Alu uh, on your left. Hi. So, what is the subject of the subject of Kripal Singh Sahib or if you have a border cross, you can use it. So, this is a good thing. It's not for entertainment. You can also talk about the government. जो हमारे कैदी वहाँ पर पाकिस्तान की जेल में हैं या जो इस तरीके की परिस्थितियों में आते हैं कि आखिरकार उनका अंजाम कुछ और होता है तो कुछ इसके विषय में आपने सोचा है जब ये 
पिक्चर स्टार्ट करने जा रहे थे हम मेरे दिल दिल की एक ख्वाहिश थी थ्रू दिस फिल्म अगर एक आदमी बाहर आता है तो दैट्स द ट्रू मीनिंग फॉर मी टू मेक दिस फिल्म मुझे ये लगा ही था मैं बोल बोल के थक गया हूँ कि लेट्स स्टार्ट अ फाउंडेशन एंड वी हैव स्टार्टेड वन फाउंडेशन ब्रिंग दैम होम ब्रिंग दैम होम बैक एंड दिस वी वॉन्ट यू नो प्रिजनर्स फ्रॉम देयर देयर स्टोरी देयर फैमिलीज आस आ फैमिली ओवर हेयर एंड दिस फिल्म विल इन द एंड शो यू वॉट द होप वी वॉन्ट फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट फ्रॉम द ऑडियंस टू रियलाइज एंड एक्सेप्ट वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन एंड वी हैव टू डू समथिंग अबाउट इट मे बी मे बी थ्रू दिस फिल्म दैट वन पर्सन अगर निकल जाएगा तो आई थिंक द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस फिल्म विल बी कम्प्लीट Hi, Ashwarya. Here, here on your right, 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 right. Yes, yeah. looking gorgeous. Okay, my name is Nilesh from Think Market Magazine. When the makers approached you for this role, what was the thought process? What was your thought process? What were the challenges, and how did you overcome it? The same question would be for Randeep as well. Let's start with Ashwarya. Well, just to uh, I think keep the proceedings fast. I think I'm more or less. Um, Uh, answered a large part of that question when i was answering the lady on my left but um, i would like to add one thing though um the subject concerned here when we're telling the story albeit um for my character's perspective i was obviously listening we always listen to the story as a whole um i think uh, definitely committed actors and artists we are always happy to tell a story as a whole we don't necessarily focus on our individual parts and when we feel there is the potential and the power and the impact in the narrative uh, all of us are like minded here we are happy to come on board um, and that you can gauge from our career graph and choices um so dalbir's character and dalbir's story this was strong because i felt uh, uh, maybe i had i am having trouble with recollection but my immediate response was it's rare that there's such insight given and such uh, attention uh, a narrative can bring to this kind of sibling commitment this kind of um, uh, th this the sibling r relationship um, if you take away from the potential of the actual um, the real story if you look at it as if you bal ka khal of a narrative and such as a character aisa dekha jaye to so uh, that's one way of looking at it but more than anything else um i don't know it's some kind of divine calling because um uh, 10 years ago or approximately in that phase um being um being a member of the film industry or the kind of uh, wonderful privileges that uh, being celebrity gives us Uh, the opportunity we don't even possibly realize the potential so often we we stand on so many platforms we are a part and a voice for so many different causes and uh, we all uh, largely make the time we uh, we do all that we can in our uh, capacity and i say limited capacity because sometimes uh, everybody forgets that we are largely artists so our day in and day out we are going on uh, morn to evening that's our office that's our job we are going making movies coming away but then in the extra time we are trying to definitely do all this as well it was a letter that uh, a petition that was going around to some of us uh who belonged to the public platform one of them being me and i too was amongst the um members of the film industry i guess who were called i know my father in law too was uh, had also signed on for the petition at that time not my father in law and me because that's what i was told and the letter had come to me as well to sign on uh, a petition while uh, possibly that that bir ji was uh, you know trying everything possible to bring attention to work at his release and the moment umang told me this is the story of sarab jeet i had this expression in my eyes and he said kyu kya hua i said oh, umang which is very him so i said <laughs> i said umang this is some kind of divine calling and um, of course i will hear the whole story but it was already a yes i was definitely going to come on board because somehow he and his life and mine had kind of albeit like i said just a petition being signed but it had crossed our paths had crossed and um still unfortunately 
he did come back to India in a coffin. Um, I had my Odin respects and I was happy to come on board.